มมาวมาวโอ้มาวโอเค so we got we got chats oh my god low forty five Jesus I can't do that for a minute then his forty five Agnia's level twenty then Partiacio's level thirty five Partiacio Let's go to um. Hold on. Let's go here real quick. <clears throat> oh, there it is. I need to see like if I can do these things yet. To, like, herb of grace, bud. Okay, well, don't have that. <clears throat> Also, it's heal. Guys, yeah, so I gotta get everyone to, like level forty-five. Oh, not there. Uh, where is it? The knight. Oh, boom! Now everyone can be a warrior. Okay, cool. So now I can have, I have four people be warriors if I wanted to. <coughs> Boom. Um. Okay, let's see. Where else? We'll go here next. It's up here. In here? Oh, it's Dancer. Okay. Okay. Um, where's the next one? That one. Leave this one some merchant up here. Uh oh, uh oh, here we go. Uh oh, brother. <laughs> My turn. Ow. Very well. Uh, How's that for you? Great work, Cat Now, uh, very well. Flames burn bright. That's that. Oh, goodness. What a tantrum right. that was. Let's see. Yeah, they, the, that's the merchant, yeah. Let's see. Oh, I shall be your opponent. My prey away. Huh? And now, where was I? Lays on. That's how it starts. A fine. Oops. Oops. <laughs> That's that. Fighting is not what I do. <laughs> oh, I see. Click money. If I pay her, you gotta be out of your goddamn mind, girl. Shoot. All right, we're just gonna do this. Just gonna make Cassie a warrior. Then we'll switch her to merchant. There you go. Okay. 
There we go. Let's see. Sorcerer percent HP equip when character makes P. Is... Eh. Yeah, we'll keep that. Restores each uh, equipped character's SP when bring your foe. No. Let's see. Raise the character. Let's go take and bring it in now. Raise attack. Nah. Her. There we go, that's a good one. Okay. I'm not gonna swap her off, because she doesn't need to stay merchant now. Boom, back to warrior. <laughs> Three warriors. Alright, um... Let's see. What was this one? Oop, wrong way. <coughs> is it over here? Where is it? Is it outside? What's wrong with this guy? Okay. It's not there. Where is it? Oh. Oh, right. This is the Thief's Guild. It only pops up at night. It's right in here, I think. No. Now, two people could be thieves, but it's like, whatever. Um, uh, okay. So, who's, who's, what are we gonna do next? Partitios? Um, okay. So, we'll swap out characters now. Change. <coughs> uh, I'll switch 10 minutes for Patricia. Yes. That should be fine. Partition could be a warrior too. I'm gonna switch it to something else. Apothecary. Cleric. The answer. Merchant. <laughs> ah, fuck it. Three warriors. Who cares? There we go. All right. Here, tail. We'll do partitions. Oh, so this is well grown. It is. That looks too well. I'm supposed to find that Alron fella, richest noble in the West. In the West. Right. Time to put on my best smile and charge on in. Yeehaw. You just wait, Alron. I'm coming to find you. I'm gonna slap you round the ass. Huh. I heard this was the most hopping commerce hub in all the continent, but... No one's hopping. Kinda quiet here, ain't it? I barely see a soul. Well, might as well check out the town while I try to find this Alron. Alright. 
Look around town. I looked. Excuse me. Can I interest you in a statue made of the purest silver? No. It's a genuine Ores Rush article, and I've got the appraisal papers to prove it. Wow, it's <clears throat> beautiful. How much? A billion. Each of these is currently going at the low, low price of 500,000 leaves. <laughs> I'd pass if I were you. Genuine silver? Ah, bunch of hogwash. Hogwash. <laughs> How dare you! That's a baseless claim! Real silver's delicate. Leave it out in the sun and it blackens. It ain't sparkling or darkening, so it's probably just a bunch of scrap iron. Just who are you? Particio, at your service. A simple traveling merchant who hails from Ores Rush. This is what real Ores Rush silver looks like. Don't forget it. D Damn. <laughs> he left this whole shopping thing. I owe you one. It seems you have a wealth of knowledge at your disposal. Of course oh, I she do. Erudition is the heart and soul of commerce. Spoken like a true merchant. Please, let me treat you to a drink as a token of my thanks. How about a shot of spirits? Our town is renowned for its drink. Ooh, that sounds mighty nice. Sure. I'm gonna go ahead and wet my whistle. Yeah! Uh, by the by. Were you, uh, searching for something back there? Uh, no, nothing in particular. <clears throat> Just a spot of treasure hunting. I stop by the stalls now and then, hoping to find one. Not <sighs> that I have an eye for it. <sighs> ah, that's a worthy pastime. No one's born with an eye for value. You gotta train. I've lived in this town for a long time, you know. Once upon a time, it was filled with happy people and fine goods. It was a lively place. Now it's filled with sad people Some, and awful changing, goods. Huh? I wish the only spirits that went down the hatch in our town were the drinks. Particio, why did you come here? I'm looking for someone. Goes by the name of Alron. The? Alron? He's one of the wealthiest people in all the West. I hear he wipes his backside with silk handkerchiefs. That's gross. Silk kerchiefs? <laughs> I couldn't afford to do that if I spent all my days mining silver. Think he'd be willing to sell those kerchiefs? I'd even buy them used. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Look, what I'm trying to say is, he lives in a different world from the rest of us. His time's too valuable to meet with just anybody. <clears throat> Unless you prove your worth, you're out of luck. Yeah, makes sense. Man cleans his rump with silk. <laughs> Still, I wish I knew how to get in contact with him. I may know a way. But Alrond knows business like a refined palate knows foie gras. He might agree to meet with you, if you had some distinguished achievement to point to. Hmm, that's so. Why should that be him? Hmm, there you go, the gramophone. And that's about the size of it. Wow, a gramophone? I am a connoisseur of the arts, but can never enjoy a tune without musicians to perform it. But with that splendid device, I could listen to my favorite songs whenever or wherever I wanted. 
<laughs> I just to haul a 200 pound piece of equipment. Thing indeed to have music I'm pretty sure it doesn't weigh that much. Not just that, but gramophones will allow us to appreciate the masters even long after they are gone. It's a most wonderful invention of this, I'm sure. You really are a true merchant. I'm sure Alrond will feel the same. <laughs> Thank you kindly. I'll be sure to get in touch with him for you. Come to his estate later, and all will be made ready. You'll find it atop the hill in the northern part of town. <laughs> well then, I just hope my discerning customer bites. Time to head to Alron's estate to see if my hard work paid off. Yay. <laughs> I'm tired. I thought I could probably do another one, but I really can't. I'm actually very easy. Also, I need to level up my characters in the offense. Oh. I need to level up Agnia, Oswald, and um. That's it. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Ba ba da ba 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 the master's study is this way. If you'd follow me. No. You have uh, to follow me. Thank you. <laughs> thank you! That's so cute. I love Partitia. <clears throat> it was him this all along. I knew it. Huh. You're that fella from earlier. Funny meeting you here. Get lost or something? Lost? <laughs> You really are an intriguing man, Particio. Intriguing enough to win an audience with the master of this house. Welcome oh, shit. to my manor, Particio. I am none other than Alrond himself. Wait, hold on. What? <laughs> Say what? You're Alrond? But who? What? Why? <laughs> oh shit, you got the hair flippy. Don't think ill of me, Particio. I had my reasons to disguise myself as the everyman. As one of the wealthiest people on the continent, I find that most put on a false mask when speaking to me. It's much easier to judge someone's true character by how they treat you when they think you're nothing special. I see. I often tell the young master that his penchant for disguise is in poor taste, but he never listens to me. <laughs> Forgive me my indulgences, Misha. You have proven yourself a cut above the common merchant, Particio. That is why I have invited you here. Now. You said you had business with me. Looking for money, I assume. Particio, are you like all the others? Come, speak your piece. Well, you've got me pegged, so I'll get straight to the point. I want to buy the rights to the steam engine, and I need capital to do it. Steam engine, you say? Pursuing the latest trends, are we? I have my eye on it as well. The coming era will be an age of steam, if I read the future right. Yep, it's got a lot of power and a lot of potential to make the world a better place. Problem is, the fellow who owns the rights to it ain't interested in using it for the people's benefit. 
I'm a merchant, that's true, but <coughs> I believe there's something out there more valuable than wealth. People's happiness. I want to be in the business of trading bliss. So, I figured I'd buy up the rights to the steam engine so I could share the wealth, so to speak. An interesting proposal indeed. I assume your purchase has a price tag? 80 billion leaves. Uh, 80 billion? With the B? That is certainly not cheap. And yet your proposal bears consideration. I said bears me, I'm a bear. B but sir! Uh, the steam engine will make jobs, lots of jobs for all sorts of folk. Especially for those who don't have the means to earn a living wage. If I <clears> have <throat> my way, the steam engine will help all those troubled folks make enough to feed their families. That way, the world will be a better, happier, more prosperous place. So, Alrond, what do you say? Want to invest in my dream for the future? Particio, you truly are a charismatic individual. However, my purse strings do not come undone for a smile and a song. Before I invest, I need a closer appraisal of your caliber. <clears throat> uh, do you want me to take my shirt off or something? <laughs> No, please stay dressed. But if you remove something, let it be the veneer off Wellgrove. Once, this town was filled with energy and laughter. But market forces shifted, and an economic depression settled upon this once prosperous town. It was my father who put the final nail in the coffin that was Wellgrove's economy. <laughs> How'd he do that? He threw money at the problem, in the hopes of turning this town's fortunes around. Mm. What do you think all the townsfolk did when he gave them hefty sums of leaves for free? Spent it on shit. Some stopped bothering to work. Others took the money and moved far away. All the while, our town declined. In the end, money had no power for positive change here. <sighs> so I want you to revitalize this dying town, Particio. If you can do that, I'll invest in your brighter <sighs> tomorrow. However, you will not see a single leaf from me until you complete this task. Hmm. I accept your challenge. I'll fix up your town for you, and I'll give it all I got. Good. I expect great things <coughs> from you. Yeehaw! Righto. Time to head down to the market and see what I can do. Yeehaw! Alright. Banter! Alrun is an odd one, isn't he? Oh shit. He's fabulously wealthy, wealthy nobleman, and yet he just like a, a a popper. Oh, like Prince and a popper. Yeah, but I think I'd do the same thing if I was wearing his shoes. You would? Yep. Wouldn't mind throwing off all those unnecessary things like wealth and privilege. Son says I want you to uh, what you need most is a heart to heart with someone on equal terms. Well, well said. We're all we're of like mind. Hmm. How do you reckon? The truth is, I'm the daughter of a powerful noble, uh, noble family myself. My family name is Cassie de, de uh, Francois. <laughs> France, Francois. <laughs> I used to live in a uh, palace alive with the uh, fresh scent of roses all, all year long. That memory came back to me not too long ago. You're pulling my leg, right? Uh, and I thought you you for a second there too. Uh, I thought I had you for a second there too. What a brat. What's up, Seabury? Psycho Ripa. What's up? <clears throat> Alright, let's go fix up this town. 
Make everybody happy again. That dude just sleeping. <laughs> Carpets, rugs, mats. Low prices, friends. Low prices. Ugh. Dude, you're putting me to sleep. Hello there. Just my favorite. I love Particio. I love Particio because his, because everyone's story is like, like Hikari's like I gotta avenge you know my father and and save my people, and then you know you have Cassie. I don't know who I am. I need to find out. Then Particio is like, fuck the one percent. I'm gonna kick in the dick. <laughs> and I love that for him. I love that Agnew is just like, I want to dance. <laughs> it's like, you go, girl. I fucking love you, too. <laughs> Let me see your merchandise. He's a Awa? <clears throat> These are fine quality wares. Let me try hawking them. I'll sell them for twice the price, guaranteed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Howdy there, miss. Have I got a deal for you. See this here carpet? It's not just any old rug. Feast your eyes on this pattern. Seem familiar? It's Timberane's own symbol. This is a high quality, first class national product. What's all the hubbub? What's hubbub? Not only that, it's going <clears throat> for a one-time only bargain price. Miss this chance to buy and you'll regret it. You'll kick yourself in your asshole for years. I'll take one. No, you won't. Me too. Liar. <laughs> Thank y'all for the patronage. Hoo-ha. We got mats. We got rugs. Impressed? You can also be snug as a bug. Twice your initial price. <clears throat> You're something else. Are you the god of commerce? <laughs> the Falcon the traitor himself? <laughs> <laughs> no. Simple fact is, no one will want to buy from a merchant who looks gloomier in a rainy day. Have confidence in the quality of your own goods, and the customers will gather like flies to honey. Yeah, dork. Wow, I feel like a whole new merchant. Huh, I've got a handle on this pickle now. <laughs> I don't like These the way he said it, but maybe laugh. <laughs> to tug at customers' hearts and their purse strings. <laughs> but get enough sparks together. You've got yourself a good old bonfire. <laughs> can't handle to this pickle so it can handle my pickle. How about I get all <laughs> That's the shops in one place? <laughs> if I can spruce up some abandoned storefront to host them, why? <clears throat> yeah, that's the ticket. This will work for sure. I love the voice actor for Petitio. He's really the good. Right marketplace to spruce. Huh? Hang on. Hang on. Well, shiver by timber. Oh, what's this? Excuse me. Huh. Looks like this place is abandoned. Ah, that makes it ideal for my scheme. <laughs> Righty then, time to put my refurbishing boots on. When I'm done with the place, customers will swarm in here for sure. I've got all my plans settled. All that's left is to recruit the merchants. Yeehaw! Hire three more merchants. I just want to take a look at the place. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Can I go in here? Nope, it will not let me in the rooms. Boo. Bullshit. Oh, banter. Oh god. Your idea uh your idea to combine many stores into one convenient location is a brilliant one. You're like a powerful lord uh, binding many disparate peoples to your banner. I like that! King of my castle! Oh, he kinda teach me how to how to be all uh, all lordy like. 
I cannot. I am not worthy to speak of such matters. All I did was heat by my people's side and spend my time among them. Yes, my town pro uh, prospered. Yet it was not my, uh, not thanks to me, but uh, to their vigor and skills. Interesting. <laughs> if I'm right, modesty, uh, modesty is the key to win love of those following you. Aww. I love everyone's banter. Because, like, all the dudes are so, like, bro -y with each other. And all the girls just, like, just, like, they all adore and love each other. And I love it. What's up? <clears throat> oh, okay. Do you think I, I can help? Wait, how do I hire him? Oh, right. At night. I've heard uh, about you, Traveler. Uh, they say you're not too shabby as a merchant. Think you can spare a secret or two? I don't have any secrets, but I'd be happy to show you how to do it. I do business. Oh, shit. That's an offer. Something, something, something. Alright. Alright, two more merchants. Merchants, 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 merchants. Are you in here in the bar? bar? Yeah, you are. What's up, sucker? I'm sure you got uh, got some other amazing plans up your sleeve, right? Whatever it is, I uh, do you think I could uh, reignite my passion business? It sure will. Just leave everything to me. All right, one more merchant, 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 merchant. You, the one with the carpets. Hey, I recognize you. I'll tell you the truth, I, I've taken quite a shine to your uh, mer merchantile ways. <coughs> That's a word, merchantile. I'm sure you've got a lot to teach, but I'd like to learn it all. Heh, it'd be my pleasure to show you my know-how. Yeah! It's a, it's a, it's a shopping mall now, kinda. How about this spot, Marticio? <laughs> huh, entrance is too narrow. Let's take down this here wall. That'll fix it so customers can step on in all lively-like. You got it. Knock this fucking wall down. <laughs> Interesting. So you plan to have all the <coughs> traders gather into one centralized marketplace. A fascinating idea. In fact, it may birth a new commercial concept entirely. Wahoo! <laughs> I've already come up with a name. Alron's Department Store. <laughs> ah, because each shop is in its own department within the greater whole. You have a fine sense for naming. <laughs> Don't I just, Mr. Alrond, sir? Mr. Alrond, sir? Enough of that. <laughs> Alrond will do just fine. <laughs> Particio! I've heard the news! I've heard all the news! Oh, it's that little shit from the other town. Ugh! Yeah. What holds you crawl out of, Scrivener? <laughs> <laughs> the scoop hole! Wherever there's a story, there's a Scrivener! I don't like where she said that. <laughs> the fire of hope flares anew in dilapidated commercial district! Traveling merchant Particio does it again! The flag of a new business unfurls! Let me handle the promotion for this amazing enterprise, Particio! Oh, you do that for me? Aww. You betcha. I have a brother, you know. He's got this line he loves bringing out. The world's filled with people groaning under the weight of a thousand problems. It's fresh ideas like yours that bring a ray of joy into troubled lives. In short, I want to help. All right, kiddo. After all, I became a scrivener to spread good news. Not bad. In that regard, I'm a lot like you, Particio. Wowzers. Ori, you're good folk, you know that? Aww. Here, this one's on the house. <clears throat> a pre-opening present for a fine rider. Really? Thanks. I'll be sure to bring my fanciest words to bear. Ha, ah, bear. Me, I'm a bear. Life seems to be returning to my town. Oh, He's all happy! Ooh! Thank you kindly, everyone. 
This place is looking fine and fresh because of all y'all. Woohoo, yay! There's only one issue left. <laughs> yeah, our shelves are looking melancholy and bare. So, how are we supposed to stock all the various goods to make this place a success? Ah, no worries on that frontier. I'll go gather up the goods myself. Y'all see to the finishing touches while I'm out and about. You got it! Woo! Ah, this will be a fine store for sure. <laughs> Strange. I got the feeling I was being watched just now. Uh oh. Ah, must have been my imagination. Now, on to business. <gasps> it's another dude in a cloak. Bastard. <clears throat> meow, 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 what meow, does meow, a department meow. store like ours need? I'm sure I can gather something good from the towns I've visited up till now. Right. First stop is... There. Oh, cool. Hello again, Winterbloom. Now, what should I stock up on here? That was so tasty. The bread is good and so are the noodles. High quality wheat really does make all the difference. Oh, I'm getting hungry. So that's why the food's so good here. The secret's in the wheat. The wheat. Righty then. Special wheat flour it is for the shop's first showpiece wear. Go buy some wheat. Boom. Thanks for the business, friend. I appreciate it. Next stop, clock bank. It'll be nice to see Floyd's smiling face again. I like that I just show him them running. Look who it is. It's Floyd. It's Hey, how's it going? Fantastic, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Now, mind if I ask a question? Oh, not at all. For you, I'd be happy to field a hundred. I'm trying to find this town's specialty product. Got any leads for me? Hmm. Why not pocket watches? Oh shit, you're right. I didn't know there were clocks so small they fit in your pocket. There are. Perhaps you could tell by the clock tower, but our town has a close relationship with things that tick in any form. Well, that settles it then, Floyd. Our second showpiece wear will be clock bank pocket watches. Oh, wrong way. This guy sells them? Right then. Time to make arrangements for my final major work. Back to where all this began. Ores Rush. Ooh, back home. It's Pops. <laughs> Well, if it isn't my boy. Where have you been? Couldn't even send your old pops a letter? Well, of course you couldn't. Hey, what's up, Fahrenheit? What brings you back? <coughs> <laughs> Trey, what else, pops? I've come with a business proposal for you. A business proposal? A good one, I take it? Sure is. 
I'm setting up a shop that stocks the world's wares. Al Ron's Department Store is the name. I'm here to buy our finest sterling for sale on its shelves. Uh, hmm. Sounds like an interesting enterprise. You got it, son. I'll part with Ors Rush's <coughs> finest silver work. All right. A little banter. This apartment store. Oh shit! I didn't see what she said. Apartment store idea. I don't know what she said. You bet you the future's apartment store is mar uh, mark. This is the future department store. Mark my words. If I were up to me, I'd uh, I'd build a jerky department store. Er, uh, just jerky? Yeah, bird jerky, fish jerky, game jerky, monster jerky. I gather meats from all across the continent. Sweet meats, spicy meats, you name it. I guess what I'm trying to say is, leave the meat to me. Heh, <laughs> sure. That's a nice sheep you got there, partner. Right? But would it be still be a department store if it only sells one thing? <clears throat> hey, Schaefer. What's up? Hello, hello. Damn. Thank you kindly, Pops. Oh. I've got enough to stock all our shelves now. Time to head back to the shop and get ready to open. Wahoo! Wow. Yeah, things are heating up here. Time to report back to Alron and let him know the good news. <laughs> I bet his jaw dropping surprise when he hears. Where's the cloak, dude? Right there. Bastard. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. I finally tracked you down, Particio. Why don't you track down these nuts in your face? Ha <laughs> ha! Got him. I'll talk to our boy. Uh-oh. Huh. What's this now? Fog? Weather's all wrong for a fog bank to roll on through. Whoa there. Alron's manor's gone white as a ghost. What in tarnation's going on? Uh-oh. That's weird. I second that one tarnation. It's even misty inside. Uh, this fog, it ain't right. It's steam. Dang. Fog's everywhere. Master Particio. Oh, no. Uh, you all right? Stay with me, fella. <clears throat> um, man. He appeared out of the mist with a strange device. He... He attacked me. Bitch! That's rotten. Where'd he go? To... Master Alron's room. I failed him. I should have stopped the intruder. Porticio, please. Leave it to me. I'll deal with that suspicious sneak. I'm a kick him in Hold the on, dick. Hold on, Alron. I'm coming. Prepare to get your dick kicked. Hey, you hit him. Uh, Alron. Particio, stay back. There's something hiding in this fog. Yeah, he's right there. Uh, there, there is. It's too dangerous. Leave me. Run! Sorry, Alron. I can't do that. <clears throat> I never turn my back when there's an enemy lurking about. Still, it's hot as high noon here. Oh, this mist. I could swear I've seen its lack before. It's steam. <gasps> I, 
I got it. This ain't mist nor fog. It's steam. That's why it's so steamy in here. But why is there steam in here? Hey. Uh. Oh, ho, ho. some varmint sneaking around using the steam to hide, eh? I don't know who or what you are, but didn't your parents teach you any manners? Mm -hmm. I don't care His if theme is really good. Dog monster or what? I'm ready to fight. Come on, sneaky little devil. Ow. My turn. Okay, sword don't work. Spear. Spear works. Spear. Ow. My turn. Now it begins. Ow. Let's go. Ow. What to do? What to do? Low and steady now. Here goes. Impressive work, partner. I'll end this. Oh yeah, the shading's great. I summon Brand. Who's next? <laughs> You're good. Oh, sis nerd. Oh, wait, I know <clears throat> you. You're Mr. Rock's employee. Name of uh my name's Thurston, you twit! No. You're as infuriating as ever, you idealistic bumpkin! Because of you, I... I... I was fired! Rock gave me the axe! Me! He deserved it. Huh? He did? You ruined my life, Particio. So I'll kill you and put a stop to your pathetic little business deal with Alrond. That will get me back in Rock's good graces. It has to. Nope. I don't get what's got your britches in a twist. <laughs> I've never turned down a bra. A word of warning. <clears throat> I never hold back in a fight, neither. Here we go. I'm gonna beat your ass, boy. Things are about to get <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Ow. Let's go. My turn. At this rate. Pinch of this. Ow, oh, okay. Uh oh. You've got talent, Particio. Slow and steady now. Here I come. To soothe the pain. Nah. 
New and improved. You smelly bitch. Now it begins. My gray awaits. Well now. Slow and steady now. <laughs> Here goes. Oh, goodness. No check. Coming right up. Now it begins. To soothe the pain. Right. Oh, oh, but under. Ah. Uh, <laughs> ow. Hold it together. Slow and steady now. Ow, ow. Oh, I missed. Ow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, shit. It's over. Got him. Uh -oh. oh, what? Wow, that sucks. Wow. Jesus. There you go. My turn. What to do? Arrow of fortune. Here we go. Damn. Here I go. Axe attack. Got him. Here I come. Ow. Articio. Time for your medicine. Sorry about that. My prey awaits. Here go. Ow. Chat. Nice one, Hikari. Don't underestimate me. Oh. I don't know the meaning of the word mercy. Ouch. Huh? Mm. <laughs> now it I'll end this. I summon Brand. Good. Oh, cool, we got him. There's no need for flattery. No <coughs> rest my soul. That was a bad idea. I should have had at least one healer. <laughs> I... I've been foiled. You don't feel a lick of remorse for what you've done, do you? Listen, the reason Mr. Rock gave you the boot was because you were playing dirty. Because you's a bitch. No. No. But I'm a forgiving sort, so let me give you a chance to set matters right. You're hired, fella, if you want the job. Excuse me? Don't be such a bitch. Of course, bitch. I gotta kick that offer down the line a bit. I don't have the funds to pay you yet. But, once I buy the rights to the steam engine from Mr. Rock, you've got a place working for me. What a joke. You don't really believe you can produce 80 billion, do you? Who knows for sure? 
Still, I believe I can do it. In the end, a person can't achieve nothing unless they got faith in themselves. <sighs> You're a man of unnatural tenacity. That's a talent. <laughs> You'd make a good worker for sure. Just you wait a little while, Thurston. I promise the day will come when I can give you a job. I... I admit defeat. You have a risk-friendly approach to life, don't you? I don't doubt you'd hire anyone off the street, no matter their credentials or background. Everyone's got a job they're suited for. Only problems figuring out what that is. Oh, but by the by, I came to let you know how the store's doing. Oh? I've been eagerly awaiting news. How's business? Booming. <laughs> Try to keep your socks on, but... I'm not wearing any socks. Huh, weird. Goddamn. Feast your eyes on this, a genuine clock bank pocket watch. As part of our opening sale, we're <coughs> offering two for the price of one. Act now, they're going fast. I'll take one. Oh, me too, me too. It's too late, they're gone. <laughs> uh, this deal's gonna bankrupt me, but what the heck. Go on and take it, you thieves. Tee hee. Oh. My. This energy, this verve. Wellgrove has returned to the hustle and bustle of better days. Yay! What magic did you work to achieve this partitio? Mm hmm. <laughs> simple. First magic spell was a simple policy sell high quality goods on the cheap. By centralizing the destination for our suppliers, uh, that's this place. We simplify logistics and enable <coughs> transportation en masse. That lowers the cost of said transport, meaning we can sell better goods for cheaper. Spell number two is department store itself. The convenience of having all these goods in one place means people stop by loads of stores and buy more, more, more. In short, we built the place so lots of folks can and want to shop here. It's bound to make it livelier than a rodeo. Yahoo! These two simple ideas are what's generating all that energy. <laughs> that and a dash of passion. I wish my father could have been here to see this. Oh. Thank you, Particio. This more than proves your worth. As promised, here is my end of the bargain. Eighty billion leaves. Uh, <laughs> wh what's this little thing? A check. A promissory note that you can exchange for legal tender. I figured it would be rather hard to carry around eighty billion in coin. <laughs> oh, good point. <laughs> hmm? If you are dissatisfied, I can throw some silk into the bargain. <laughs> uh, no, no, I, I trust you at your word, Alron. Oh, right. We should draw up a contract for this loan. Promise that I'll pay you back. Not necessary. You've already given me a down payment. Aww. But that's just my calling card, a single silver leaf. Indubitably. This is a symbol, a promise that no mere paper can equal. Oh, Alron. Alrighty then. Time to swing on over <coughs> to Mr. Rock's place and buy up that steam engine. If I may ask. Do you really intend to sign a deal with Rock? 
I do not expect a businessman of his caliber to simply hand over the steam engine willingly. Oh, we're going to beat his ass. Don't worry. A word of warning. Do not trust that man, Particio. Oh, trust me, though. You would do well to ponder how he will react to your proposal and plan accordingly. Uh, thanks for the warning, Alron. Much appreciated. Yeah, we know he sucks ass. Don't worry. P Particio, hello there. Where'd she pop up from again? There she is. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh, seriously, where do you keep coming from? <laughs> Not important. Have I got a scoop for you? Magnate Rock has released a proclamation. What? A big announcement is coming regarding the steam engine. Massive, earth-shaking. Uh, suspicious timing. Wonder what he's up to. Uh, hope he didn't get tired of waiting for me and made some wild play while I was out beating the bushes. Uh, might as well head on over and see what all the fuss is about. Wait a sec. Does that mean you've collected the dough? <laughs> you could say that. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Big scoops are falling from the sky today. Wait until my brother hears about this. Meow, 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 meow. I believed in you from the start, Particio. <clears throat> hey, don't leave. I wasn't finished yet. Bro, I gotta go. The proclamation will be made on Rock's very own private island, <coughs> Rock Island. It's private property, so there are no ferries. We need a ship to get there. Darn. I see. I wouldn't mind lending you my ship. Ooh. I appreciate the offer, but I'll have to decline. Besides, I don't deserve to see Mr. Rock. So I can get to him on my own. <laughs> That's a very you sort of sentiment. <laughs> Righty then. I'll just have to go procure myself a ship. Lickety split. Lickety split. <laughs> oh, this is such a cute picture. I love that. Oh, hold on. I gotta make sure. There we go. Charlie Merchant Petitio makes cool 80 billion. Merchant continues to amaze with a challenge for the rock company in hand. He opened negotiations with fabulously wealthy noble Alron. Then live that. Moved by the merchant's passion, Alron has agreed to act as financer. Well, will this desperate gamble to prevent the monopolization of steam engine work? Read our next issue to find out. That's I love that. That's such a cute picture. Yay!